Digimodes on an older radio. Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the IC706 Mark IIG and see how we set that up for FD8. So uh, with no further ado, let's take a look at the setup. And we have the uh, shaky cam here. We have the uh, IC706 Mark IIG which is hooked up to the SB2000 interface here. We're going to take a closer look at this interface in a later episode, but for now, uh, just know that this is what we're hooked up to. That is in turn hooked up to a sound card, and uh, both the interface and the sound card is hooked up to my Surface Go here. That's my portable computer. So let's start from scratch and set everything up. This is the computer right here. This is just a remote desktop view of the uh, Surface Go. So let's start WSJT and see what happens. And my Windows is in Norwegian, but that shouldn't be too hard of a hassle for you. So the first thing we got to do here, though, is uh, to find the right COM ports and everything. Let's go ahead and do that first. And we're going to choose Device Manager. And as you see, mine's in Norwegian. That doesn't really matter. Just right click the Start menu and find the Device Manager. Click the ports here, and you can see that it's port 7 and port 8, COM7 and COM8. So we're just going to close this. Go into File Settings here. And now we'll start from scratch. Call sign, grid. And we're going to go to radio. Let's go to audio first, actually. And in my case, we're going to choose the uh, USB plug and play sound device. Then go to radio, choose reg. And this is the IC706 Mark IIG. And uh, we'll just try the different comp parts here. Uh, let's start with COM8. The baud rate that is set in the radio, in my radio, is 19,200. We're going to have eight stop bits. No, sorry, eight data bits, two stop bits. Handshake is going to be left to default. PTT is going to be RTS. And as far as I remember, that's going to be the other COM port. Mode. Doesn't really matter. We'll set USB here and split operation, fake it. So let's go ahead and press the test cat button. That works. Let's test the PTT as well. And the relay clicks and the radio goes into PTT mode. So we should be good. Let's press OK and see. And we're not on. Oh, uh, let's see. We can change the mode to FD8. See what happens. I'll turn the radio on. And I can hear audio and I can see audio on the waterfall here. So let's just um, do a couple of decodes and we'll see if we can make a QSO here. And I moved down to 40 meters here just so uh, we could see if we could get a QSO. Didn't have a whole lot of lock on 20. So uh, let's see if we can get one on 40 just to demonstrate for you guys. And there we go. QSO done. So let's move on to the big picture here. And that's actually how easy you set everything up on this radio for Digimodes. All you need is some kind of Digimode interface for it. There is no built-in sound card. There is no USB cable for cat control. So you need some kind of interface. Whether that be a signal link, it'll be a Digirig, or one of those uh, CG antennas SB2000 interfaces that I have. It doesn't really matter, but it's a pretty simple radio to get up and running on Digimodes. And that's it for today, though. Please hit that like button. Do consider leaving a comment down below. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there's some info down below as well. 
That's it now. Until next time, 7-3.